The Queen has never come cheap. She's got a big house to keep up with, and that's just the start. Then there are the opulent state dinners and her annual summer garden parties. Those alone cost over a million dollars a year. Now the Queen is feeling the pinch after the government forced a freeze on her budget. It's been long rumoured that the Queen walks around Buckingham Palace at night turning off all the lights. So as the nation tightens its belt, she wants to be seen to be doing the same. So there have been staff cuts, pay freezes, computer cutbacks and a cheaper lease on the helicopter. The leaky roofs will just be patched for now and the palace budget for interior design has been cut by a third. Morning Alex. Well, you know, they say that home is where the heart is, but in Anna Chapman's case, it may cause her a lot more trouble than it's worth. On the one hand, she's believed to be absolutely furious with her British husband, who she married in 2003, and she's now threatening to sue him for selling topless photos of her and also bad-mouthing her. He's accused her of becoming secretive and money-obsessed after meeting with powerful and what he called shadowy Russian friends. However, it's a double-edged sword. She also got a British citizenship because of her marriage to him, and she lived in London for seven years and has said that she would like her former life back. The British government has not yet commented on her case, but if it emerges that she only married her husband to get a passport, her citizenship could be revoked. Hmm. Tazine, how about the two spies reported that were released in Britain? What do we know about them? Well, when the U.S. jet left Vienna, it had on board four spies. The two were dropped off in an airfield in Britain. They are the nuclear physicist Igor Sachigin and the military intelligence officer Sergei Skripal. Now, Sachigin was jailed for 15 years in 2004 for passing information to a British company that Moscow claimed was a CIA cover. Skripal was jailed for 13 years in 2006 for spying for the British intelligence service and in particular for revealing the names of several Russian agents working in Europe. Their exact whereabouts are unknown, and they have been made to promise that they won't be selling their stories. But have no doubt, Alex, that the British press will be pulling out all the stops to track them down, in particular if the star of the show, Anna Chapman, returns here. Well, and I was going to say, talk about pulling out all the stops, Tazine. I mean, they had all those racy photos of her. What do you think is the general feeling toward the prospect of Anna Chapman returning and living there? Well, I don't think it's going to be easy for her to return here because there is a lot of um, talk right now, certainly in the papers. The government haven't talked much about it, but the opposition is saying that she really should have her citizenship revoked and she shouldn't be coming here. But for the time being, the British government are probably mulling it over and staying stum. Hmm. Okay. NBC's Tazeen Ahmad, thank you very much for the live report. We'll see you again. NBC's Tazeen Ahmad joins us with more. Tazeen, good morning. Good morning, Lester. Soccer mania really has captured the world's imagination like never before. With the big final today, tens of millions are expected to tune in to watch around the globe. Whatever the outcome of today's big match, the real chance are the South African hosts. The hospitality in Soweto has raised the bar really high for Brazil when it plays host in four years' time. Lester.